Hi BTN, my name is Nala and I'm eight years old. I live in Essex, just outside London in England. I have been making these vices for our doctors and nurses who have been fighting the coronavirus in our hospitals. The reason why I started making these PPE masks is because I heard that there's a shortage of them for the National Health Service. So I asked my grandma if we can make some of them on this 3D printer and she said yes. She's been guiding me through the process ever since. The way how I make these face shields is first I make this headband bit on the 3D printer. Then I attach this acetate plastic which is meant to be the shield bit. After that I need to attach some elastic at the back to make sure that it fits on someone's head. I have made about 150 masks so far. 100 of those masks have been donated to local hospitals, care homes and doctor's surgeries. I think it's really important that the medics use these vices because it creates another layer of protection between them and the patient. Doctors and nurses' reaction to my advices has been very good. They said that they're very comfortable, they felt very happy wearing them and most importantly, they felt very safe in them. Um, they've even asked me for more. Hi Nala, my name's Liam and I'm a ward manager here at St Bartholomew's Hospital in London. I'm wearing the visor that you very kindly made and donated to us here. Uh, we just wanted to say a, a very big thank you for your very kind uh, support uh, and donation to us and on behalf of the whole team here on cardiology at St Bartholomew's, thank you very much. Thank you Nala Rose for the visors! At the start I didn't have a GoFundMe page, but when people found out what I was doing they wanted to help too. So we set up a fundraising page for me. So when I ran out of materials, I was able to buy more. And any excess money that we have is going to go to the NHS staff. I don't think anyone should ever take anything for granted. And also that this has been an opportunity um, for people to really realize what's important to them. The message that I'd like to give to other children that would like to help during this time is that no gesture is too small, whether it's making PPE masks or, other, or any other contribution, every little helps. <laughs>